Hello and welcome to OpenStax Chemistry Adam's first example 1.5. So continuing with significant figures, we've learned how to count significant figures. We learned that when we add and subtract values, we keep the same number of decimal places as the val as the one on the value that had the fewest number of decimal places, right? So if, it, if there's one number that goes out to a tenths and one number that goes out to the hundredths, the answer will only go out to the tenths place. When multiplying and dividing, the rule is you round the answer to the same number of digits as the number with the fewest significant figures. Adding and subtracting, it's the fewest number of decimal places. Multiplying and dividing, it's the fewest significant figures. Okay, and that's going to, of course, you know, still be that the idea here is that we're keeping the least certain value, right? We're keeping the, the number limited to the least certain value. In this case, multiplication and division, that is the number with the fewest significant figures. So what do we have to do? Step one, count significant figures. So here we've got now remember that on the very left is not a significant figure, but everything after the decimal point that is after a actual number. So one, two, three, four significant figures. And then here we've got two significant figures. So I've got my handy calculator, multiply 0 0.6238 times 6.6. .6. And what I get is 4.11708. That's way too many numbers. We have to go with the least number of significant figures. So this is the place we want to round to. The number before that is a one. So we just drop everything after that. And it is 4.1. What were the units here though? These were centimeters times centimeters. And so this is going to be centimeters squared. All right. For, for letter B, divide 421.23 grams by 486 milliliters. So remember, when we're adding and subtracting, we have to have the same types of units. But here, this is how we get those new types of units, right? In which, uh, when we're dividing here, we're dividing mass by volume, so we're actually talking about a density. Okay, so um, when we have 421.23 grams divided by 486 milliliters, now uh, let's count these one, two, three, six figure, significant figures. One, two, three, four, five significant figures. And when we actually do the calculation, which is the least interesting part of these questions, 486, the numbers don't matter. The concept of significant figures does. And so I'm just going to write out a lot of these numbers that are present on the screen. Nine, five, one. Uh, what are the units? Grams per milliliter? All right, but that's way too many numbers, way too many digits here. We gotta keep it down to three significant figures. This first one is not a significant figure. The zero, it's not. It, it's just a placeholder there. One, two, three. All right, so we're cutting it off right there. What do we need to do though? Since this is a seven, that means we need to round up. And so the answer is 0 0.867, and we have to keep those units, grams per milliliter. As always, we need to roll down to see what we're, how, how we did there. I'm going to write them up on the top. That way I have the answer, and I can get rid of the work if it gets in the, in the way but I can scroll down just enough. What does it say? Yes, 4.1 centimeters squared, 0 0.867 grams per milliliter. All right, well, there are a few 
examples to further test yourself. See you in the next video.